dear viewers namaskar presenting you answers for project management for managers assignment this is assignment number 8 week 8 answer week 8 assignment it you may remember this due date on or before this due date you need to submit this assignment question number 1 an activity in a network diagram is said to be dash if delay in its start will further delay the project completion time it's a critical activity dummy activities is for the sake of completeness of a diagram and it doesn't consume any resources or time forward pass is a kind of calculation of time null activity is something else and hence this one is the correct answer question number 2 input analysis the maximum time that is required to perform the activity under extremely bad conditions is known as pessimistic time this time estimate takes maximum time while optimistic time estimates le takes minimum time uh, most likely time estimates is between these two what is the part time with optimistic let's denote it with tp sorry to most likely tm and pessimistic time with tp the relationship with te equals to that is optimistic time plus four times most likely time plus pessimistic time divided by 6 if we go by this uh, relationship we can find that a uh, 6 plus 40 plus 14 sorry divided 6 this will go to 60 divided 6 means this is equal to 10 and hence this is the correct answer question number 4 in part what type of distribution is used for time estimation beta distribution is the correct answer beta distribution is plotted on a limited scale that is 0 2 1 while uh, such condition is not there for poisson distribution as well as exponential distribution and also for j square and this is the correct answer because of the limited range of distribution of this type of distribution question number 5 the difference between maximum time available and actual time needed to perform an activity is known as free float here uh, or slack sometimes is also referred to as slack independent float if more than one activity is there it may come into picture but it may not be correct for this statement similarly more than one activity is there then it this may also come into picture and similarly this one here the correct answer is free float pessimistic time and optimistic time of completion of an activity are given as 10 days and 4 days respectively the variance of the activity will be let's denote uh, this pessimistic time by tp and optimistic time by to variance by v and let's say this sigma is a standard deviation
standard deviation. The relationship between variance and standard deviation is like this and the relationship between sigma and tp and to is like this that is tp minus to that is pessimistic time minus optimistic time divided by 6 this will make it 10 minus 4 divided 6 equals to 6 divided 6 that is 1 here we got the value of sigma 1 and hence variance is 1 and this is the correct answer if part network has 9 activities activity 1 activity 2 activity 3 show and so activity 8 and activity uh, event 9 this is event and the standard deviation of each activity on critical path is 3 3 3 3 3 and so and so the standard deviation of the critical path the standard deviation of the critical path will be sum of the individual standard deviation of the activities and hence there are nine activities and sum of all these nine activities the standard deviation will be 27 critical activities have a zero plot this is by definition critical activity will have zero plot total plot of an activity is difference between early finish and late finish in fact it should be late finish and early finish two activities are there early finish suppose this is finishing here and late finish that is this is finishing here this deviation will be a total plot if this is uh, comprises of more than one activity if this is a single activities then it will be a free plot here the this is the correct answer if the various variance of a critical path is 25 days the standard deviation suppose uh, variance is denoted by v and standard deviation by sigma the relationship between variance and sigma is like this so sigma equals under root variance we have variance 25 that is this will bring 5 and hence this is the correct answer thanks for watching